Johns Hopkins gynecologist Nikita Le Levy was accused of secretly videotaping his patients. Um, but after they went forward to authorities, he committed suicide. So mm -hmm. now about 100 women are trying to find out who the right person is to sue, okay? And they want to press charges, and they're considering Johns Hopkins, uh, yeah. the hospital. Uh, but in order to sue, you need to prove a number of things, including negligence, and you must also prove that those images are you. Yeah, here's uh, someone else you should consider suing. No one. Now, Nikita Levy, obviously super bad guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was recording it from a pen, which scares the hell out of me, because you who knows if there's a video camera in any pen or any other thing. It's creepy, it's pervy, it's horrible, it's mm -hmm. illegal, and they should have brought the whole force of the law down on him, but he committed suicide, right? But Johns Hopkins, uh, look, should you do an investigation? Absolutely, and they're doing an internal investigation to see if they were being negligent and they, somehow they should have known but didn't know. But uh, look, from the outside, it, it appears like, how the hell would you know that the crazy guy's got a video camera in his pen and he's taking pervy pictures of his patients, etc. Why do we always have to sue someone? Like, that, what happened is terrible to them, right? I mean, imagine if it goes online, it's terrible, right? Yeah. But you don't necessarily have to sue anyone. The guy who was guilty is definitely Nikita Levy and he's dead. Right, I, I, I have an issue with suing uh, an entire hospital that had absolutely no control over what this guy did. Now, there is a, a possibility that there were rumors going around. Now, now this is the only case where uh, the patients would be able to get um, you know, any justice, I guess. If, if there were individuals within that hospital that knew about what was going on, but yeah. they didn't tell authorities about it. But so far, there's no proof of that. Right, no, but that's why you do an investigation. Right. So I got no problem with the investigation. In fact, I want it to happen, right? Because if other people were protecting this guy, that's unacceptable, right? But look, in, there was a Connecticut hospital that got sued. There was 150 victims of another doctor who'd used a medical study as a pretense to take pictures of young kids and sometimes together, et cetera. So they sue, now again, if that's your kid, you're, that rips you up inside and you know, et cetera. But the hospital had, did not know about it and they convinced the jury that the hospital did not follow their own rules and regulations on how they should have checked in on all the doctors. Well, they're supposed to. And they to won a hundred and, I'm sorry, they won $50 million for the 150 victims. Rightfully so though. Because the hospital has the responsibility to review any studies that are taking place. And in this case, they didn't. They just allowed this doctor to do whatever perverted thing he wanted to do with these kids. So that's a little bit more complicated, right? Yeah. And you put, now on the other hand, you know, re, how often do they go and review all the research of all their doctors and who would imagine that they were doing some insane thing where they were taking pictures of, so like they should have followed the regulations and yeah. I get it, right? But I just feel like whenever something happens, this, going back to this case, they don't even know whose pictures he took. It doesn't make it right, he's a terrible guy, I've said it a hundred times now, right? Mm -hmm. But the women have to prove that they were embarrassed and humiliated, but in order to prove that, they have to prove that it's them. So they have to go in and say, yes, that's my private parts, yeah. and now I'm embarrassed and humiliated, and you, now give me the money. And you have to prove that it's your private parts. So there has to, and by the way, that doesn't mean like showing the judge your genitals or anything like that. I know it sounds ridiculous to say you have to prove it's your private parts, but for instance, there's like a, a, a date stamp on most uh, photos, so you have to prove that you had a doctor's appointment on that day, right. so there are ways to prove it. But that seems like much more trouble than you should go through. Um, t to sue a if, hospital that probably were, had nothing to do with this. If you, were go if you were going through that trouble to make sure that you put away Levy, great, right? You're going through that trouble just in case somebody didn't follow a regulations at Johns Hopkins, and this money isn't free. It comes out of the hospital, and it comes out of the university, and t gets taken away from other things. Mm -hmm. If they were guilty, definitely. But it seems a bit of a stretch here.